This presentation analyzes the responses of participants at the Transportation Assets and Barriers Workshop held in Slater on February 11th and a random sample survey sent to Slater residents. The information in the following slides aims to inform the Slater Vision Committee and Design Team during the design process. We conducted community focus groups and sent a random sample survey to 228 Slater households. The quantitative data collected from the survey responses complement the qualitative information gathered at the focus groups. Different transportation users typically have different needs and priorities. Older adults want access to local services. Active recreations want to be challenged while engaging in physical activity. Parents are concerned for the safety of their children. Mobility challenged individuals want smooth surfaces and safe traffic crossings. Youth want complete sidewalks and safe traffic crossings. We conducted focus groups with people from each of these different demographics to obtain a complete picture of the transportation system in Slater. All user types travel around Slater by walking and driving. Older adults, youth, and parents bike around town. Older adults, mobility challenged individuals, youth, and parents enjoy riding golf carts around town. Parents ride scooters around Slater, and youth ride the bus to school. Focus group participants were asked what they consider community assets. Residents enjoyed the abundant amenities available to pedestrians and cyclists, including restrooms, benches, and shelter at Earl Graham Park. Wide, well-maintained, accessible, and continuous sidewalks are also appreciated by most groups. An example of this is the trails in Nelson Park. Having a close connection to natural scenery and native vegetation is appreciated among most groups. The trails in and around Slater are popular among residents. Mobility-challenged individuals, parents, and actives appreciate the well-maintained and low-traffic Cybers Trail. The Heart of Iowa and High Trestle Trails are also well-liked among residents for their connection to parks and neighboring towns, access to nature, shade, and plentiful amenities. Residents note, however, that there are few dedicated ways for visitors to branch off the trails to explore all Slater has to offer. During the focus groups, participants identified undesirable features in town. All groups expressed frustration with broken, narrow, or missing sidewalks throughout town, particularly along Highway 210 and portions of Lynn Street. Residents from all groups also noted drainage issues along Highway 210, Main, Carroll, and Lynn Streets, the Earl Grimm Park and School parking lots, and the trails. Several user groups noted that Highway 210 was intimidating for pedestrians and cyclists because of heavy traffic and a lack of well-defined crossings, sidewalks, and bicycle lanes. Additionally, residents are frustrated with poor road conditions in town, especially along Lynn Street and 10th Avenue. Finally, focus group participants had the opportunity to tell us what changes they want in Slater. All groups expressed a desire for improved infrastructure connectivity. Examples include a complete sidewalk network, a better connection to the Heart of Iowa Trail, and another entry into the new development in town. Most groups described a need for additional pedestrian safety features, like crossing lights and additional stop signs, especially along Main Street, Highway 210, and Lynn Street. Many groups also wanted increased trail amenities such as mile markers, public restrooms, trees, and water fountains. Lastly, older adults, youth, and parents would like additional traffic controls to slow traffic in town, such as stop signs, lower speed limits, and speed radar signs. In addition to the focus groups, we distributed a random sample survey to 228 households. Understanding what types of improvements are important to residents gives the committee insight on how to prioritize projects. The information summarized here includes respondents' willingness to help, their enhancement priorities, preferred commuting, biking, and walking routes, and qualities they desire on their biking and trail routes. More than 60% of respondents indicated they were willing to help with the visioning process, whether this be volunteering time, money, or both. How do we get people to help? According to an ISU study of Iowa small towns in 2014, a common reason residents said they didn't become involved in community projects was that no one asked them. Others indicated they didn't know how to become involved. These results show that the best way to get people involved in community projects is to simply ask them, along with advertising opportunities through traditional and social media outlets. On a scale of 1 to 5, with 5 being the most important, Participants in Slater ranked having safer routes to school as the most important type of transportation enhancement. Other enhancements that address pedestrian mobility, safety, and health, such as pedestrian connections, increased physical activity opportunities, and more accessibility for seniors are also considered important. Regarding the quality of the built environment, 
survey respondents consider habitat for birds and pollinators most significant, followed by enhanced seasonal beauty and better neighborhood streetscapes. Most survey respondents drive to important destinations such as the grocery store, post office, school, and church. More than 28% carpool or ride with someone else. Nearly 30% of participants said they walk, and 24.7% bike to their destinations. This map shows the commuting routes identified by 47 survey respondents. The frequency that the routes are used is depicted by their width, with the most frequently used routes being the thickest. The primary commuting corridors into and out of Slater are Highway 210, County Road R38, and 510th Avenue. Many people utilize the Lynn Street and 6th Avenue corridors in town. Carroll Street and Marshall Street bring residents to and from the new developments, while Main Street offers access to downtown and the elementary school. On a scale of 1 to 5, with 5 being the most important, survey participants ranked the characteristics and features that factored into their choice of commuting route. Among Slater participants, time to destination was the most important factor. Avoiding weather-related issues such as snow and ice is the second most important factor when determining commuting routes. This map shows the walking routes identified by 53 survey respondents. The frequency that the routes are used is depicted by their width, with the most frequently used as the thickest. Survey respondents indicated that the heart of Iowa and high trestle trails outside of town and Cypress Trail in town are the most popular walking routes. Residents also walk along the city streets around town, especially along 1st Avenue downtown, County Road R38, and Carroll Street northward out of town. On a scale of 1 to 5, with 5 being the most important, survey participants rank the characteristics and features that improve their walking experience. These features are categorized as their connections or conditions and elements. Slater respondents consider the conditions and elements slightly more important determiners of their walking routes. The quality of the sidewalks was the most important factor in route choice, followed by other factors like snow and debris clearance, the presence of pets, and whether sidewalks are present. In terms of connections, trail access is the most significant factor in route choice. This map shows the biking routes identified by 38 survey respondents. The frequency that the routes are used is depicted by their width, with the most frequently used as the thickest. Like walkers, bikers most often ride along the High Trestle and Heart of Iowa trails outside of town, and Cypress Trail in town. Some people bike along Carroll Street and County Road R38 in town because of the designated bike lanes. On a scale of 1 to 5, with 5 being the most important, survey participants rank the characteristics and features that improve their biking experience. These features are categorized as either connections or conditions and elements. Slater participants consider connections more important than conditions and elements and find trail connectivity and access the most significant factor. In terms of conditions and elements, other factors, like friendly trail users, are also important. On a scale of 1 to 5, with 5 being the most important, survey participants rank the characteristics and features that improve their trail experience. These features are categorized as either connections or conditions and elements. Conditions and elements are more important to Slater trail users than connections. Among conditions and elements, little vehicular traffic and well-kept surroundings are most important, followed closely by the presence of trees and shade. If you have any questions about this presentation on the community visioning process, contact the members of your local visioning committee or check us out on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. A complete set of assessment presentation boards can be found on the Slater webpage at www.communityvisioning.org slash Slater.